Hi, my name is Patrick and this specific video is to inform you about the MBA CET 22 expected paper pattern. So yes, uh, we had a lot of controversy with regards to CET 2021. One was that the paper pattern was really unexpected. What they mentioned in the brochure and what actually was given was quite different in terms of weightage to some extent. Okay, also the problem was it varied from slot to slot. I mean in one slot the weightage for scant was really high. In other slot the weightage for verbal was high. Some questions were common across slots, some type of questions, specifically a little bit vocabulary questions, etc. But there were a lot of variance in terms of the type of questions. Therefore, it became very difficult to compare between slots how did people perform. Also, it was sort of your luck. So if you're good in quant and you got into a section or slot where there were a lot of quant questions, your advantage. But if you're good in quant but you got into a sort slot where it is verbal too many questions, disadvantage. So yes, lot of controversy because of that. I mean, we didn't know and it is not right as well. I'm not putting it, it's not right as well. And that was wrong. But this has happened past as well. There was once, one time in the year, few years back where this happened, where the paper very un completely unexpected from what was there. Uh, and also the slots were quite different, the questions, a lot of mistakes in the paper, etc. This has happened in the past. But then that was one year and then they came back to normal in next year. So which means that even this next year, it is expected at least when you're preparing for the examination, that it is going to be same as before. They may not be, I mean, what was in the past, the same pattern will continue this year. They may not happen as CD 2021. So if you're preparing for the CT examination, I would recommend you to focus on that same paper pattern as previous. 50 max DLR, 25 abstract reasoning, 50 verbal and 75 logic questions. That is what is expected to be in the next year. Okay, I'm because I'm assuming that they'll learn from their mistakes and they will hire someone who can make a paper which is more predictable as such. Right, and so weightage within the section could change to some extent. So instead of maybe a 40 question verbal section, there could be lesser puzzles which will be there. So the weightage could change, but overall the pattern is expected to be this way. There will not be any major change or expected to make a change. So when you're preparing for CT22, prepare the way you should prepare for CT2021 before the paper pattern. And the normal, the max, DI, with a normal weightage of verbal logic reasoning. If there is a change, there could be just a change in terms of number of questions, but I don't think there will be a major change in terms of the uh, syllabus as such, what type of questions will come. So you may have instead of 25 questions of DLR, maybe 15 questions of DLR. Okay, max maybe instead of 12, maybe you may have 20 questions of mathematics. So that could change, but overall, I think they will keep the weightage overall pattern as the same. So since we don't know, so keep your preparation similar to what you prepare for C2021. Don't worry much. It doesn't make sense to study integration and as such. It came in only one slot, maybe a couple of questions. There's no point studying that completely and you know breaking your head over it. Just focus on the paper pattern what it was before. I hope that helps. All the best for your preparation and thank you.